Yes, yeah, sir. I'm sure you guys have seen the title. This banner here, do not summon on it for now. I've got many reasons. Let's get into it. Yes, yeah, sir. In this video here, you guys have read the title. We're going to be doing a should you summon, but the title should just tell you not to summon for now. Dot, dot, dot for now. Something like that. Because this banner here, it's crazy. And it's clearly a build up for the anniversary. These units here have very, very good kits. And they want you to have a good team when you get to anniversary or be able to build a good team when anniversary starts. Anniversary should start about early June and then proceed all the way through to about the end of July to August, part one, part two. The main thing about this banner is that it finishes in the eighth month of the year. What is that? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, just like I said. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video. If you haven't already, make sure to press that subscribe button on this grind to 30,000 subscribers. All my social media links on the top of the screen. This is the YouTube channel. We've got a Twitter, a Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. Let's go through everything as to why you don't need to summon right now. But I've already listed one simply because the banner is going to last a century. That's almost a quarter of a year. From the third month to the fourth to the eighth month. That is long, man. That is crazy. But yeah, man, that's the first reason already. The fact that it lasts up until August. An anniversary part one and two should extend to about that long it, like there's no reason to summon right now you can do your discounts if you wish but this banner is going to be sitting comfortably like comfortably it's actually crazy how long this banner is going to last clearly they've got something planned for anniversary um and these units kits they're not even bad at all like they're not bad at all like with Whis, you've seen his new ability already. So they want you to have these units, 100%. But right now, you don't know what's going to come next month and the month after. Right now, we're ending March. So it'll be January, March, April, May. we got about two more months, two more LFs before the anniversary, probably. You don't know what those characters are going to be. And considering this lasts so long, you could save this for later rather than go for it now. But yeah, that's number one. Now, I just wanted to quickly glance over the new characters. So, of course, we've got Sparking Whis, who's purple. We've got Golden Freezer, who's green. We've got these two units here. I feel like the biggest thing that's important with them, before we even move on, is their Z abilities to know what they actually buff. So, if we look at Freezer here, he buffs LOE and Universe Survival Saga. If we look at Whis, just so we can see, he actually buffs God Key, just God Key, but he also gives special move. I've glanced over these guys' kits, and I don't want to take you guys' uh, time w uh, going through their kits. But essentially, these guys' kits are nothing uh, average. They're nothing average. The standard of these kits for all-star banners and the animations you've actually seen, they're clearly, clearly of that spectrum of where we need anniversary units to be at. And they're releasing a couple months before that must hint of them being very valuable for whatever's coming to the anniversary however there could be more things that come in addition to these two characters like golden freeze is looking crazy loe are just eating way more green's probably the, the color that they didn't have they had the free to play pod freezer who's also a menace anyways but having an all-star unit of this caliber is actually really really good like it's, it's insane loe is probably going to be the best team in the game undeniably um <laughs> it's, it's dumb, it's dumb Green card that can combo Blue card Bleed is going to be underrated I don't know how he will age of course Because he's not out at the moment But Freezer is going to help LOE a bunch And this character Whis here If we look at the God Key purples We've actually got Blue Bros Who I don't know how much of a difference It would be to swap out Blue Bros For this uh, character here But it is a very good addition because we do need a good support as everybody was trying to bring back Vados where Vados is not exactly meta uh, by herself but Whis would definitely be so with his new obscure uh, feature by himself um, so it's not that these characters are not going to be relevant at all and people are definitely going to summon anyways 
but just the fact that they've built them to this caliber must hint at the fact that they will be important especially in the anniversary so it's about timing this part here their kits are really good but it's about timing now outside of the fact that the banner units are good and uh the banner is going to last for like the whole year basically um you actually get a guaranteed sparking every single multi on these all-star banners which is actually pretty good it's kind of like the ultra uh banners where you're uh, guaranteed a sparking every single time which is pretty solid so at least one of the 10 you do in a multi not singles you can't do 10 singles and guarantee a sparking but every time you do a multi summon you are guaranteed at least one sparking which actually increases your odds of getting the golden freezer or the Whis, as i'd like to think <laughs> you don't know about these rates but just the fact that it's good if you save up from now and then you allocate your cc accordingly when the time is right if these units suit your taste they'll be better off for you then than now so it's not something you should rush into um it's definitely something you should actually settle with first see how they really mold with the meta before you actually go out and spend your cc especially if you're free to play promoting mostly to the free to play i need to i need to uh, put that disclaimer free to play free to play free to play on the screen you need to know specifically for you guys that you don't want to be blowing your CZ the next month they drop another god key character or maybe a revival god key character or a LOE character or something you want basically uh you don't want to miss out on the opportunity which is why you should wait on the later end of most banners rather than the earlier end unless they're just clearly clearly the best units in the game these units they're not the best units in the game but they're definitely going to be a good addition to any team on the metal their their selective teams i don't have anything else to say in regards to uh, anything on the banner but generally speaking form a good opinion before you actually go in for yourself so there's going to be every content creator probably making a showcase on one of these characters Whis is god key so he's hype and eloise is the best team in the game right now so lots of people will be showcasing him undeniably if people don't even run those teams they'll be showcasing him your favorite content creator will be showcasing them watch a showcase watch more than one showcase so you get actual good gauge of it for example i like to believe that 14 star showcase or higher star showcases are not always a good representation especially if a certain character mains that team it's good to see a lot of damage and the potential they could reach but in a more average setting where maybe some of you don't have the best of best of accounts um you won't feel that same output that you saw in the video which is why you should watch more than one and not just one showcase and then settle thinking this character is cracked a character can look cracked in a showcase meaning they're very good but not actually be so not implying these guys are not just saying that you need to have a very very solid opinion before you actually go in especially for free to plays free to plays free to plays <laughs> But yeah, that's what I've got to say for this video. It's nothing long, nothing crazy. Just advising that there's a lot of things to consider for this banner. And just specifically the time that it's lasting, man. Don't even feel pressured to do anything, man. Honestly, um, the only thing I can pretty much say to maybe stop you is the fact that if a unit comes out better than these guys instantly, you're going to forget about these guys. There's probably so many characters in your box that you don't use. So many characters you might summon for that are very soon after just became re irrelevant and you don't use them. Maybe because you were just hyped in the moment or you got sucked in. So you need to really think about what's more valuable, especially in a position where you're in the unknowing. So we don't know what's going to come in the future. But we have a pretty good uh, level of uh, ground to think about for the anniversary. I feel like it's kind of obvious. MUI Goku, um, who's going to come? So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. Let me know what you guys are going to be doing. If you're going to summon, go ahead. Like, I, I, I'm not your master, bro. You make your own decisions. Press that subscribe button if you haven't already on this ground to 30,000 subscribers. All my social media links are going to be at the top of the screen. They are. This is the YouTube channel, but we got Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. But I don't have anything else to say, man. Very happy. Um, Weiss has actually got a sparking that's something i've been waiting for man and i'm happy that they gave him a very unique ability to him specifically that like he's got a whole new future for himself other people might get in the future i hope not because it's very rng the ability that they gave him but it's still a bit of fun and we're gonna see how it's gonna play out my name is akashi guys and i'll see you guys in the next one